Have you ever had this issue when working with Excel um, in electronic reporting, for example, for the business documents or for something like that, where you, you, you have a, a merged wrap text cell in, in Excel, but it's not, it's not growing dynamically the height to show the whole text and then it's cut off. Well, there's an out of the box functionality um, for you to, to <laughs> troubleshoot that issue that we are going to explore in detail. I'm going to illustrate the example I am talking about um, very quick. We have um, this auto height format that is exporting some data based on this template. So it's the description, long description. The long description is going to be um, too big. So this is the result. So if we take a look, um, for example, in this case, there's very long text. But since this is a merged cell, this is m merging a lot of cells, even with the, with the wrap text, it's not growing because it's a merged cell and, and Excel doesn't do that. For example, here I have this long description not merged that if we go to the template, this is basically um, a field that it's j not just one one column it's not merged in that case it is growing like excel accepts it but when when we merge it's not accepted so one thing could be to try to make it bigger like we did here but that's static so we can set for example in the in the template we could make this um this row bigger but this is static if, if, if this is um, if this is just two words we don't want to use so much space and we never know if we are going to have an even bigger field text so the thing is um, Microsoft probably realized of this problem or heard about the complaints or the uh, um, suggestions of the users and the partners and they created a functionality that it's the one that I am going to explain in detail here because even I after discovering it uh, sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't and uh, it took a little bit of time to me to realize what I was doing wrong so this is the functionality if we go to electronic reporting parameters in out of it row hate we have to set it to yes. Be careful if you set it to yes in an environment where they are already using a lot of ER because, if, for example, that can change some already existing ER like it happened to me and, and you have to re regression test all of them just, just for, to be sure. Um, this is what it's going to do if we check the help text, set to option yes to automatically uh, adjust the height of the row that is configured, da da da, important. Um, out of it row height. That's the that's a key detail. The other key detail is that it needs to be a wrap text. So after turning this on, we are going to see the massive difference. There you are. Now, for example, this field long description is in runtime execution, somehow the out of the box code calculates the space it needs and it changes the uh, height. So, conditions that need to be matched in order for the template to work fine. It's just, we go to the template. Here, for example, we have to have the merge, of course, merge cell. It doesn't matter if it's aligned to the top, bottom. It doesn't matter if it's justify centered. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that this needs to be set as auto height. How do we check if it is? You can check it, but you can just make sure it is. If you go to, um, uh, I think it's here in format. Yeah, out of fit 
row height. You do that. Now it's now it's fine. What happened with column six? Column six, we made it a little bit bigger. So we have set doing that change in this in this sorry row in this row for example doing this now this is not out of fit height so if i click here you are going to see how hey it changed and that's the reason why if we if we check at what we executed right now this one didn't grow the way it should it was just a fixed um, it was a fixed um, length what happened here why this didn't grow well in this case this this one is because it hadn't the wrap text property so we need you need to have wrap text you need to have of course it needs to be merged because if not it will just grow always if you have the wrap text and it needs to have the out of it height that's all like for example in this um the the line description it was perfect you see it it's just perfect but why why i have so ma so many examples well i tried to i tried to kill it or <laughs> to make it work f wrong testing all the possible things that I came up just so you don't spending that time just so you don't have to waste yours and for example in this case this one I added line breaks so it works fine with line breaks um, it works fine with if this is like a line and so it's being repeated five times it works fine with every with every single line, if, if one of the lines was a little smaller, it would be adjusted. And this is the this is exactly the same. Here I used a different I used here uh, a different um, font size and and well a different font and a different size, and it took all of that into consideration. You can see how now the calculation wasn't so accurate, but it's more or less fine since it was bigger like the space in the in runtime it was calculated was bigger than the um than what it was needed so we are good in this case it was smaller and look how it also took that into consideration here we see a little bit of a problem here because you see this is all in in uppercase in this case we might have like this cut off being cut off because when we save it to a PDF or something, there are ways to like add an extra an extra space that it's a hacky way I, I found that it's for example in this case we could do the, the, the following. If we have for example we need a, an extra space app we can put a very small column, well, sorry, a very small row. So, oh, what I wanted to do is this. A very small row. And then we get this and we merge. And then we are adding a little bit of space, of extra space. <laughs> up. Uh, yeah, I know this is a hacky solution, but you know, when you have to deliver a, a business document to the customer, you need to, to know these tricks. And the thing is, this is still going to grow the way it was uh, before adding this, this 19th line, because this is still set as out of it row, row height. So this is going to work and this is going to be to grow but this extra line is just going to be taken into consideration inside a long description upper case so with that it'll work and another thing you have to take into consideration is indents 
indents are not taken into consideration by the runtime um, logic that calculates the needed height. So if you have, for example, like this, quite a few in, um, indents, you can see how here this is will blame you and here it's 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 missing the, the last part for not following Fernie's advice so be careful with this but it works pretty good for it's a, it's a fit for 90% or 95% of 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 the um, dynamically growing um, height um, cells that, that we need in, in our daily basis. So yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for, for, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did uh, recording, editing, and, uh, and I hope it's useful. That's the important thing here.